Thank you so much for joining us. We're here to talk about upcoming programs and opportunities available through the Wharton School via the Wharton Global Youth Program. I am Lauren Moore. I am Director of High School Programs. Really excited to speak with all of you tonight. I am joined by a number of fantastic colleagues. And Effie, if you could share the slide, I'd love to introduce them really quickly. Thank you. All right, so I'm Lauren Moore. I'm Director of High School Programs, but I have a number of colleagues here with me tonight. I have Alicia Suggs, who's the coordinator of our Wharton Pre-Baccalaureate Program, which is our credit-bearing program that allows high school students to enroll in undergraduate courses. Um, I'm also joined by Allison Vaughn, who's the coordinator of our on-campus residential programs. So these are opportunities that reside on Penn's campus. Students live in the dorms. They participate in the full social and extracurricular community as well. I'm also joined by Lizzie Sobel, who coordinates our online programs, which are designed to be interactive and engaging experiences for high school students within a very flexible platform. And Effie Jo, who for tonight will be serving as our slide guru, um, she is our instructional content manager. She supports the development and curriculum of each of our programs. She works across programs. She's phenomenal. Um, each of them will have an opportunity to address the portfolio of programming that they oversee. But before they get started, I'd love to introduce you to the Wharton Global Youth Program at large. And Effie, if you could move to the next slide. Thank you. Um, so I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Wharton Global Youth Program, but essentially what we do in a nutshell is we take the teaching, the learning, the research, the innovation of the Wharton School, and we bring it to high school audiences. So that is high school students and high school educators. And we do that through essentially three platforms. Um, we have our online business journal, which features articles, videos, and podcasts tailored for a high school audience that introduce teaching of the Wharton School, various business disciplines, hot topics within the business realm. Um, we also feature a lot of high school students and their entrepreneurial ventures within our Future of the Business World podcast. There's a lot of great ways to dive into the content and learn more about Wharton and the business field at large. Our second platform would be our competition, which is our academic year uh, team-based investment competition that allows students to compete um, against one another, against their global peers, to create a investment portfolio and strategy using an online stock simulator. Um, it's a really great opportunity for students, and I imagine quite a few of you are already participating in this, so kudos to you. Best of luck with your final reports. And then the third platform, which I am, which is very close to my heart, is our programming portfolio, um, and that is the team that I have with me here today. We create non-credit and for-credit programs and opportunities for high school students to come to the Wharton campus or participate online to learn more about various facets of the business world, offerings of the Wharton School, um, and each of my colleagues will introduce their various portfolio of programming in just a moment. But before they get started, I want to give you a quick sense of the scope of what we offer. So Effie, if you could. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so we have about 1,500 high school students that join us every summer on campus, the University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia campus, for our in-person residential programs. And Allison will be discussing those in just a moment. We have about 10,000 students participating in our annual global investment competition, which is incredible. Uh, it's a phenomenal group of students. We have 1,500 different content pieces within our online business shows, articles, um, podcasts designed by Wharton faculty with uh, business curious students in mind. And then we have about 75 countries represented within our global investment competition. So we have a very diverse cohort of students who are participating in all of our opportunities, um, and we'd love to see them on an annual basis. Next slide, Effie. Thank you. All right, so first up, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Alicia Suggs, who coordinates our pre-baccalaureate program, which again is our academic year program that invites high school students to uh, earn college credit by enrolling in undergraduate courses here at the Wharton School. Alicia, take it away. 
Thank you so much, Lauren. Um, so as Lauren was explaining, our pre-baccalaureate program is our credit bearing program. Um, so these courses are selected from across Wharton's academic departments and introduce you to the rigor of a Wharton undergraduate education. Um, this is also a great opportunity to meet intellectual peers from around the world and connect with them right in your virtual classroom. Um, most of our classes, we include live weekly class meetings where students participate in instructor-led lectures as well as course discussions. Um, these can incorporate things such as business simulations, case studies, and group projects. They also include asynchronous content where you watch pre-recorded lectures, complete readings, as well as other assignments. Um, students who successfully complete the course, um, they have the honor of receiving a official University of Pennsylvania Wharton transcript um, and it outlines the course that you completed, the grades that you earned, and college credits, which are transferable to most universities and colleges. Um, each of our courses awards 0.5 University of Pennsylvania credit units, um, which pretty much is the equivalent to two college course credits at most post-secondary institutions. Next slide. So we offer our courses through the, throughout the entire year, um, and we offer them during six different terms. Now our applications are currently open for the spring one, spring two, summer one, and summer two sessions. And those dates are listed right here in our presentation, as well as on our website. Um, some of the courses that we've offered previously include viral marketing, prescriptive analytics, introduction of financial markets and the global economy, as well as intro to statistics and data science. Um, our pre back students are also granted access to university resources, um, and that includes research catalogs, our library services, instructor office hours, as well as academic advising. Um, a nice caveat is also um, for all of our students that are age eligible and are, in still, are still in good academic standing, which is maintaining a 3.0, um, which is pretty much a B, or higher, you're actually invited to participate in future terms of our program without having to go through the application process again. Next slide. So here are some of our testimonials from both Diana from Vancouver, Canada, who participated in our Intro to Financial Markets and Global Economy course, as well as Ben from Connecticut, United States, who completed our Health Economics course. Now, our pre back program does have the application requirement that you have to have a minimum 3.5 unweighted GPA or equivalent. Um, you also have to be currently enrolled in either grades 11 and 12 during the school year or being a rising 11th or 12th grader during our summer term. Um, now, to view more of our course offerings, application requirements, um, as well as access to our FAQ page, you can go ahead and scan the QR code at the bottom of the slide. And if you happen to miss it, we actually have that throughout our presentation, so you can always access all of the information that we provided today. And now I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Allison Vaughn, who's gonna tell you more about online on-campus programs. Thanks, Alicia. Um, so I'm gonna talk about on-campus programming. My name is Allison. Um, Summer 2022 will actually be my sixth summer with Wharton. So I am very, very excited to welcome students back to our Philadelphia campus. Um, it's been two years, um, so we're ready to, you know, dust off the cobwebs and get back to work. Um, so the perks of being on campus are really the hands-on um, atmosphere and the intensity. For example, our Essentials of Entrepreneurship um, program actually is going to take place in the makerspace. Um, so we're hoping to 3D print, really get some prototyping going. Um, very, very exciting. Uh, other things that students will do during uh, residential programming will be actually living in residence halls. So you'll live in a dormitory while you're on campus. Um, plenty of opportunities to explore Philadelphia, writing terminals, Rushi Harbor Park, maybe attend, you know, a Phileas game. Um, plenty to do here, especially if you've never been here before. Um, each program is two to three weeks in length. A majority of our programming is non-credit, but we still have plenty of four-credit options, as Alasia just talked about. Um, our on-campus demographic tends to be about 50% international, 50% domestic. That's what we tend to shoot for. So you're going to have a very diverse group of students in your cohort when you're on campus. Um, 
And as always, our prerequisites vary by program. So please scan the QR code in the bottom um, of the slide if you want more information on that. Effie, next slide, please. So here are all of our on-campus summer programs. Now, something to keep in mind is that some of our programs are um, age restricted. So you'll see that leadership in the business world only accepts applications from rising seniors. However, essentials of entrepreneurship and essentials of finance, if you're a rising sophomore, junior, or senior, you're able to apply to that course, uh, or excuse me, that program. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that some of these programs have prerequisites. So for example, Moneyball Academy, they look for a high level of math, a background of data analytics, um, some kind of statistics experience. Think about these things when you're applying and make sure that you know, the program that you're applying to really makes sense for you. If you have questions, again, please reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. Next slide, please. Finally, here are two on-campus students from previous years. Muzamil joined us in 2019 for the finance program. Um, that was actually our launch year for finance, so he was one of our first students to take it. And Maddie actually joined us in 2016 for leadership in the business world on campus. Uh, Maddie went on to come to Wharton and actually graduated last year. Um, as you can see, two very different programs, two very different people. Um, I'm very excited to have students back. So if you're interested in coming to Philadelphia, please apply to an on-campus program. And then next, I'm going to introduce Lizzie Sobel, who will talk about online summer programs. Awesome. Thanks so much, Allie. Hi, everyone. My name is Lizzie Sobel. Um, I'm the coordinator for our online summer programs. Um, so similar to our on-campus programs, uh, our online programs are all designed and led by Wharton faculty and instructors. Um, the key difference here being that, you know, these programs are designed specifically for a virtual setting. Um, some highlights of our online programs include small group work and recitations led by Penn and Wharton undergrads. Um, these undergrads serve as our program TAs over the course of the entire summer. Um, additionally, students in our online programs take part in interactive business simulations, which are always very, very popular. Um, and these sim simulations give students that, you know, fun, intense, real world experience that really allows them to implement um, what they've learned in a real life setting. Our online programs also have flexible start dates depending on the program. Um, this is designed and done, you know, purposefully in order to accommodate all time zones and really provide our students with as much flexibility and accessibility as possible. Um, and then finally, all online summer programs have summer long access to our online community, the gym, um, which I will touch on again in just a second. Um, so Effie, next slide, please. Awesome. Um, so here's a list of our online summer programs. You'll see that all three of these programs are open to rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Um, they also touch on a wide variety of business topics. Um, the programs are Essentials of Leadership, Future of the Business World, and Moneyball Academy Training Camp. Um, if you'd like to learn more about one of these programs, you can scan the QR code in the, um, at the bottom of the screen. And of course, visit our website for um, all program details and information. Um, next slide, please. Wonderful. So, as I mentioned, um, the Global Youth Meetup, or the gym, as we affectionately call it, is available to all students attending an online summer program. Um, the gym is really our way of bringing Penn and Wharton, you know, the Penn and Wharton experience to our online students. Um, we feel it's crucial that all of our students attending one of our programs have that on-campus experience, um, and this is exactly where the gym comes into play. Um, it provides students with tons of opportunities to engage with their peers, as well as the larger Penn and Wharton community. Um, students have access to a variety of summer-long social and educational activities, games, events, workshops, um, and, you know, Penn and Wharton faculty, alumni, clubs, organizations all make appearances in the gym over the course of the entire summer. So it's really a phenomenal opportunity for our students to 
you know, engage with each other and engage with Wharton all summer long. Um, and I will just say again, it is free. It comes with, you know, all of your academic programming as part of an online summer student. Um, next slide, please. Cool. Okay, so finally, um, here you can see two of our past students from online programs and learn about their individual experiences. Uh, Giovanna, for example, is a past FBW student from Brazil. Um, she was extremely active in both her academic program as well as the gym over the course of her summer. Um, and to hear more from our students, to learn more about the gym, um, you can always you know, head to our social media pages where past students are often highlighted. Um, and then of course, our website to read some more uh, testimonials. So now I will turn it back over to Lauren who will provide some additional detail, details on our programs. Thank you, friends. All right, so uh, applications for all of our spring and summer term programs are now open, which is very exciting. Um, for our pre-baccalaureate program, we have varying application deadlines based upon the term of entry. As Alation mentioned, we have six sessions that run throughout the year. It's a year-round program, though typically students participate in one or two sessions, depending upon their availability. For the upcoming spring one term, our application deadline is December 8th. And then moving forwards for spring two, the deadline is February 4th. For summer one, the, the deadline is April 7th. And for summer two, the application deadline is May 5th. For our on-campus and online programs, we are offering a priority deadline as well as a final deadline. Um, the priority deadline simply means that students apply earlier and they receive their admissions decisions earlier so they can put their summer plans to bed and move on to other opportunities. Um, but uh, many programs do fill during the priority deadline. Um, many sessions and programs fill to completion within that priority deadline window. So we always, always, always encourage students to apply by the priority deadline. For our on-campus programs, that would be January 20th, 2022. And then the final deadline would be April 7th, 2022. Um, we would only have an opportunity to admit students during that final deadline window if space still remains in programs and within various sessions. We will update our web pages as certain programs or sessions fill, but again, we encourage you to apply by the priority deadline. The priority deadline for our online programs is March 15th, 2022, and the final deadline is May 5th, 2022. Each of these program offerings that my colleagues have mentioned previously run multiple sessions throughout the summer. So please refer back to our website for the specific dates. Um, depending upon your school schedule, some sessions might be more available than others for you. Um, so you will have the opportunity to make your session selection, your date selection within that online application. If you are an international student, we really, really ask that you apply by the priority deadline if you are applying for an on-campus opportunity. Um, the timelines for travel arrangements and for visa arrangements have been greatly extended. And so you want to make sure that you have your summer plans locked in well in advance so that you have ample time to make all of those decisions and commitments. So again, please apply by the priority deadline. Reach out to us whenever you have questions or concerns. Um, and we really look forward to receiving your applications and reviewing all of the information you provide to us. Effie, next slide, please. Okay, so as Allison mentioned, the admissions criteria and application requirements do vary on a program by program basis, but each application uh, will require a student to complete the online application component, which includes uploading an unofficial copy of high school transcripts, we ask for two grading periods, two semesters, um, just so we can see progress over multiple terms. Uh, we do ask for one or two recommendations per program. These should be provided by a high school teacher or counselor, someone who can speak to your academic performance and potential within a high school classroom. There are typically two to three short essay prompts um, that allow you to explain why you are interested in the program, um, what you hope to gain from the program, um, and they really allow the admissions committee to get a greater sense of who you are as a person. So don't be afraid to be creative, 
um, and to share all of your excitement about the program. We love to hear that. For students who are non-native English speakers, TOEFL or IELTS scores might be required um, to ensure English language proficiency. If you attend an English medium high school, meaning the primary language of instruction at your high school is English, this requirement is waived. And for all programs, standardized test scores like PSAT, SAT, and ACT are now optional. You will have the opportunity to upload copies of those test score reports if you have them, but this is not a requirement. If you do upload your test score requirements, they will be reviewed with your comprehensive application materials to make sure you're putting your best foot forward and you're only submitting those scores if you feel really confident in the scores you've achieved. Right, next slide, please. All right, so many of you have asked about program costs and fees. Uh, we do have a costs and aid page that is available on our website that outlines the fees for online programs, the fees for on-campus programs, the tuition and fees for the pre-baccalaureate program. So again, I really encourage you to scan the QR code to visit our website to see the most dynamic information about program offerings, as the program fees do vary from program to program. For students who are participating in an on-campus program, the program fees are all-inclusive, meaning your housing, your dining, any social and extracurricular activities, all of the academic fees are all wrapped up into one cost. Um, so students would just be responsible for their transportation to and from campus and various incidentals. And that information is broken out on our website. For students participating in our online programs, it is a one program fee and it covers the academic and term fees for your specific program, as well as your summer long access to the Wharton Global Youth Meetup virtual community. And students can participate in the virtual community, the gym, as we like to call it, um, at any point during the summer. Um, so before your program, after your program, during your program, uh, the full summer is available to you to participate. We do have a variety of scholarships that are available for students with demonstrated financial need. Um, depending upon the specific type of program, these could be full or partial scholarships. So again, we really encourage you to visit our website for additional details. Um, we offer Wharton Global Youth Program scholarships, which are internal scholarships that uh, support students with demonstrated financial need to any of our program offerings. We offer scholarships for students who attend a school district of Philadelphia, public or charter high school. And then we also offer a variety of scholarships through our network of partners. These are community-based organizations that work with high school students over the course of their four-year high school career. Um, and they partner with us to provide financial support, funding, and mentorship for high school students. So again, please visit our website for more specifics and to apply, and our scholarship application will be opening in December. All right, next slide. All right, so we would love to continue to engage with you, whether you are a prospective student, a parent, a counselor, a current participant in one of our programs, including the investment competition or pre-baccalaureate coursework. We'd love for you to reach out to us, to connect with us via one of our social media platforms or to email us, visit our website, learn more. We love to hear from our students. They are truly what makes all of this hard work feel so, so worth it. Um, so with that, I know several of you have posed questions in the Q&A section. Um, I just wanna highlight that we are open to any questions you might have about our program offerings. Feel free to pop those in the Q&A and we will address those as we have time available. Hi friends, joining me again. All right, so I've missed quite a few questions over the last few minutes. Let me just scroll down. Okay, so one question is, if we sign up for the physical summer program, I'm assuming the residential program, but the pandemic does not allow us to take part, what will the Wharton refund be regarding the fees? That is a really great question. And I think over the past two years, we have learned that flexibility is key. Um, we, pre we previously allowed participants to roll over their admission to a future summer, which has proven quite popular. Um, and that would be the case once again. For students who are admitted into the program, whether they pay or do not pay their enrollment fees, 
they will be permitted to roll over their admission to a future summer, assuming they are still age eligible. If they are not age eligible, a full refund of tuition would be applied. Um, so thank you so much for that question. That's a great one. Oh, I see that my colleagues have been all over the place answering. Lauren, can we answer this most recent one of what is a typical day at a summer program? That is a great question. And yes, yes, we can answer that one. So for on-campus programs, I hate saying this, but I'm going to say it again. They kind of vary by program. So um, depending on what program you're involved in, it might be slightly different. But typically, most days are lectures, recitations, simulations um, that get kicked off at about 9 a.m. Um, you'll work in the morning, have a morning break, and then we'll break for lunch. Um, you'll go to lunch in one of our dining halls or Houston Market, which is in the center of campus. Great location, a lot of fun. Um, and then in the afternoon, you'll come back together for a guest speaker, a simulation, group work. Um, most of our programs have a final project. Um, I'm speaking specifically for our on-campus programs. So in the afternoon, you might meet with your group, work through it with a TA. Um, all of our programs also have TAs that are Wharton and Penn undergrad and graduate students. Um, so you'll get a chance to work with them, talk to them, hear about their experience. Um, and they'll help you solidify your final project. Now, in the evening, you'll get back to the dorm, have dinner, and then our colleagues at Summer Discovery, who host all of our residential activities, will have activities laid out. You can go mini golfing, you can go to the movies, um, you name it, or if you just wanna lay low and relax at the dorm, you can do that as well. Now, on the weekends, changes pace a little bit. Um, you can go to Six Flags or the Jersey Shore for the day um, or take a trip around town, go to the Reading Terminal Market, go to a Phillies game. Um, so you will not just have this great academic experience. You'll really have an awesome social experience on campus as well. And again, these, these programs are intense. These are meant to be very, very intense for two to three weeks. So you will be very busy, but you'll also have a lot of fun because it is your summer. So we want to make sure you're having fun as well as working hard. Lizzie, you want to talk about an online day? Yes, um, and this actually um, will answer a question that I saw regarding timing, especially for um, international students. Um, so our online programs, um, obviously, same thing that Ali said, it does very much depend on the actual program that you are um, participating in. But typically, in an online program, you will have um, you know, depending on the program, um, various sessions throughout the day um, that will be, you know, synchronous live lectures where you will be hearing from um, your Wharton faculty instructors, sometimes guest speakers, um, depending on, you know, the curriculum of that actual program. Um, there will be, you know, time for breaks during the day. Um, we do realize that Zoom fatigue is a, is a very real thing. Um, so we keep that in mind as we are planning our um, online programs, um, but you will also have um, time during the day to work with small groups, um, to visit your instructor during office hours, to visit your TA during their office hours, um, Office hours won't occur every single day, but there will be, um, you know, time where you'll have to do group projects, um, maybe do some pre-work for the next day, um, anything like that. Um, so, you know, like I said, there will be a good chunk of your day that is that is dedicated to your online program. However, um, you know, we want to make sure that you have enough time during your day to actually you know, enjoy your day, enjoy your summer, um, and also hopefully hop into the gym. Um, you will have plenty of free time to do that during your online programs as well. Um, and then I do just want to point out that our, the program with the most uh, flexible time slots would be our Future of the Business World program. Um, so that is really helpful, especially for international students who um, might live, you know, on the other side of the world as, as Philadelphia. Um, and uh, because of that, we have two time slots that are available to all students um, for each program. So FBW has one time slot that starts at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well as another time slot that starts at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so again, depending on where you are in the world, 
uh, you have a choice as to which time slot will work best for you and with your schedule. Awesome, thank you. All right, so I'm just flipping through the questions now. Um, one student asked, for international applicants, after they arrive at the airport, would they have to arrive at campus themselves? Which I think is such a great question, and in all honesty, does not apply just to international students. We have a number of students coming from all across the US and abroad who are flying into the Philadelphia International Airport. Um, and we do have colleagues at Summer Discovery that are more than happy to coordinate an airport transfer for you that is available for a small fee. Um, but it's amazing. They greet you at the airport. They have a sign with your name. They wear matching t-shirts. They pick you up into one of their vans and you immediately get to meet several other students at the airport who will be in the same program or similar programs. It's a really great first introduction. Um, but if students want to make their own way to campus, there is a very convenient train that runs all the way into the university city area, which is just, um, well, it's right on the university's campus. So it's very convenient. Um, and thank you for that question. And then one student asked, could you please speak a little bit about what you look for in applications to your programs? And I have to tell you, I really, really appreciate this question. Um, we receive thousands of applications every year. Um, and I think the applications that really speak out to us, and I'm sure my colleagues can chip in, um, are the applicants who are very honest about who they are. They're very forthcoming. They're very self-aware. Um, they communicate why they want to be here, what they hope to gain from the program. And they've also demonstrated that they are open to a challenge. Um, and that they are interested in the specific program content. Um, so they really stand out quite a bit in their creativity, in their ambition, and their drive. Um, all program participants have to have very strong academics. These are rigorous programs. Um, some are more introductory than others. So again, check our website for specific admissions criteria. Um, but we do want to ensure that everyone coming into the program has the foundational knowledge to be successful in the program and is prepared for the rigor of a Wharton education. Um, so I think students that really stand out are students that holistically are stellar students from an academic standpoint, but are also able to communicate some personality um, and some creativity within their application components. And I don't know if my colleagues have anything else they want to add to that but I think that's really what we appreciate seeing the most, is students who have put some thought into their application essays and their materials. Yeah, it's important to remember that we don't physically see you, right? Like, we, we don't know who you are, but we're really only getting to know you through this piece of paper, through this application. So anything that you can do to really let us get to know you as we're reading applications makes it very, um, memorable it makes it easier easier for us to connect names with faces when you do show up to campus and it makes it easier for us to picture you here with us or virtually with us i should say as well with our pre-back and online programs so anything personal that you're willing to share um to really make it special i think is a great great idea absolutely okay so there are a couple of other questions you want to touch upon um, can we attend the online program only on the weekends, given their school and international timings? Um, and I would say for students who are participating in our summer online programs, there are fixed hours for live sessions. There is obviously an asynchronous component, that independent study component you can complete on your own time, and that's very flexible, um, but there are fixed live sessions where you will work with a Wharton instructor or a faculty member or a guest lecture, or you will participate in group activities or a simulation, and obviously you would need to be available to attend those live sessions. For students participating in the online pre-baccalaureate program, it is much the same. There will be homework and assignments you can complete on your own time, making it somewhat flexible but there all are also those fixed live sessions with your Wharton course instructor, and you will need to participate in those um, and attend those uh, during all sessions throughout your term. Um, so we do encourage students to find the time 
and the session that works best for them. And again, we run multiple sessions of most of our programs. All of our session dates and program details are on our website. So you can explore those and hopefully find a session and times or program that works best with your specific schedule and commitments. Okay. Are there recorded sessions in case you miss one? Lizzie, do you want to take this? Again, I will give everyone's <laughs> least favorite answer. It depends on the program. Um, typically, I will say that uh, programs are not recorded. Um, for a pre back course, it all depends. It all is up to at the discretion of your um, instructor. For our online programs during the summer, our, our programs are actually not recorded. It's not allowed to record them because we are uh, working with minors. Um, so these, so your online programs throughout the summer will not be recorded. If you do miss a, a live session, it's typically okay. I usually encourage our students to communicate that with their program leader um, as well as your individual TA. Um, that way we know that you have, you know, another obligation, which is why you're missing class. Um, and that way we can get you whatever materials you missed. We can put you in contact with uh, the appropriate, you know, group members. You can talk to your, your peers. Um, however, you will not be able to catch up via, um, a, you know, a recorded video. Um, and this is also just important to keep in mind as you're thinking about which program you'd like to attend um, and which programs will work best with your schedule. Thank you. All right, there's a couple more questions. Um, one student is asking about the costs of the programs. And I just wanna reiterate that all of our programs vary in their program fees. So I really encourage you to visit our website for specific details. Um, and my colleagues just posted the links <laughs> to our various costs and aid pages. Um, and on those pages, we list the program fees, what is included in the program fees, and what is not included in the program fees. So you can anticipate any additional costs that may be associated with program participation. So definitely check that out for the specifics. Thank you, friends. All right, one student asked, um, being a sophomore in Brazil, is IEL or IELTS or TOEFL mandatory? Um, so we briefly addressed this earlier. Um, for students whose native language is not English, we do require TOEFL or IELTS scores to ensure English language proficiency. All of our programs are taught in English and they are discussion-based. So it is a requirement that you have a sound understanding of um, written and verbal English communication. Um, if you attend an English medium high school, meaning the primary language of instruction at your high school is English, this requirement is waived. Um, but if your high school teaches in a non-English language, uh, then we do ask that you submit IELTS or TOEFL scores along with your application. And there is an upload feature in the application where you can upload those documents pretty seamlessly. All right, Sujay asks, if the high school we attend is particularly rigorous, is there any way to emphasize that in our application? That's actually a really great question. Um, I would say that uh, many high school transcripts that are unofficial do not include a comprehensive guide to your high school. Um, so it's always great to have that recommendation from your high school teacher or your high school counselor that can provide some context to your cumulative high school experience. Um, so if they're able to talk about the various opportunities or the rigor available through your high school, that really allows us to gauge a more comprehensive picture of your performance within the high school um, and what you've been exposed to previously. So I would recommend that you, you choose your recommenders very carefully uh, and you select someone that can speak to those specific components of your high school career. Ooh, question about housing. Can you elaborate on housing? Are we going to live in the college houses? Which ones are we living in? Allison. 
Rummel, um, tentatively <laughs> Louder and Hill College House. Um, so very nice. They were both recently running. Hoping to have both buildings to ourselves. Um, so all of the Wharton students will be able to live together. So that means that in the evenings, you can go back to the dorm and you can hang out with people in different academic programs, um, go on trips with people from different academic programs, um, and not just have to hang out with the people that are in your specific cohort. Um, so the location is also pretty nice. It's not too far of a walk to Huntsman Hall. Um, if you are in the makerspace, I'm really sorry, it will be a little bit of a hoof, but I promise it's worth it for the nice dorms. So that's where, you, where you'll be living on campus. Yes, and campus is beautiful, especially during the summer. Um, well, it's always beautiful, but I'm also biased. All right. Okay, so it looks like most of my colleagues have addressed questions, so that is phenomenal. Um, if anyone has any additional lingering questions, you are more than welcome to email us at wharton at summerdiscovery.com, and hopefully someone can post that. It should also be in the follow-up communications. We would love to hear from you, so continue to engage with us and communicate with us via social media. Don't forget to submit your applications by the priority deadline and to visit our web pages for more details on our specific program offerings, including dates and fees and program by program highlights. We have a really, really great spring and summer lined up for students. We can't wait to meet all of you, to interact with all of you, and to show you what a Wharton education is all about. And this is really a phenomenal opportunity, and we are really proud of everything we bring for our high school students. Um, and we want to make sure as many students can participate as possible. Take advantage of everything we have to offer um, and reach out anytime with questions or concerns. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you to my colleagues, Allison, Alicia, Effie, and Lizzie. This has been great. Thank you for answering all of these questions and discussing a little bit more about our roster of programming. And I hope to see many of you students this spring or summer in any of our online for credit or on-campus opportunities. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you may be. Thank you.